is one of the first hummingbirds to come back in the spring. And they, they'll fly that 500 miles that last day. And what are they looking for? It's the males, they come first. They're looking for food. And if they find a garden full of food, they go, this is gonna be my territory. Then when the females come, they look for the males, not because they really like them, they're feisty guys. <laughs> Don't do housework worth a thing, as you'll see. But uh, the thing is that uh, if the Rufus is hanging out there, they know that's full of food. So they go there. So if you can, I don't know, Bonnie, can you grow these? Yeah, good, good. So uh, this is flowering currant. And there's a whole bunch of different ones. And, but you want these blooming right when the Rufus come back. So they should bloom about the exact same time the Rufus come back. And they're going to see that and they're going to stay in your garden because they love these. It's a native plant to Washington, although we plant hybrids. Next, please. And once they're in your garden, they start looking for things that aren't red that are full of nectar. And so they're going to find uh, the white ones just as well. But you want those red ones they see first. But the more you can give them to eat, the happier they are. Next, please. And uh, so some of the other, like the black-chinned, a uh, hummingbird, the calliope, some of those come a little later. So you want things that are gonna be blooming at different times in your garden. So, and Bonnie, can you grow these big, yep, yeah, okay, so these big, uh, these are Chinese bleeding hearts, I love them. This one has golden foliage, it's called gold heart, and it likes dry shade. So you can really do well with that, next please. And then the regular ones, just are so attractive to hummingbirds, it's unbelievable. So even in your shady part of the garden, you can have things that will attract hummingbirds. Next, please. And uh, people are so surprised to find out our native columbines, of course, this is probably a hybrid, just are so attractive to hummingbirds, it's unbelievable. And so if you have a lot of those in your garden, and the hummingbird seed those, they're gonna start hanging around. <laughs>